G-Man Boxing. Do you know what I mean? Every single live he donates. I see him on other lives donating, donating, donating. He's got the bag on it. The Big Bang, Zili Zhang, defeats Joe Joyce in the sixth round. The fight was stopped on the instructions of the doctor. Joe Joyce's eye was very badly swollen. Joe Joyce could make out the numbers that you know the doctor was making with his fingers, but at the end of the day, the swelling was that bad that referee Howard Foster was left with no option really other than to stop the fight because Joe Joyce wasn't making any adjustments in that fight the longer it went on. So... Let's talk about this fight. Let's go back to the announcement of Zili Zhang being the opponent. Now, Joe Joyce obviously was, at the time, in a very good position. He was now interim WBO heavyweight champion. He was guaranteed a crack at Alexander Rusek at some point. So, it was really a case of... Oh, and he was coming off the back of a good win against Joseph Parker. So, it was really a case of, stay busy, who are you going to fight? Now, me personally, I was thinking, maybe a Cooper Apula and someone like that, because... My logic was, they're not going to want to take any unnecessary risks when they have a guaranteed title crack, or at the very least, they're going to get upgraded to full champions. So they're not going to want to take any silly risks. Then they announced Zili Zhang as Joe Joyce's next opponent, and I'm thinking, ooh, that's interesting, because we all know Zili Zhang is a very good fighter. He's very dangerous. Yes, Joe Joyce has a good chin, but Zili Zhang is a tremendous puncher with the left hand, probably the best left hand in the heavyweight division. And Joe Joyce's chin is good, but it ain't that good. So, this fight on paper was going to be competitive. Now, the first round, for me, that first round and the subsequent rounds thereafter, I started asking myself the question, did Team Joyce actually know Zili Zhang was a southpaw? I say that because the left hand was landing at will for Zilli Zhang and Joe Joyce wasn't able to make adjustments he wasn't able to see the left hand even when his eye wasn't as badly bashed up and that to me was a worry it started having me think did they actually do any training with southpaw fighters in camp now I know well young Moses Atuma is similar well Jizi Yang's obviously bigger but Atuma's a southpaw but similar-ish dimensions but it had me wondering, did they do any training with any southpaws? Because he seemed so unprepared for the left hand that was coming. And he was hit several times in the first round. And, you know, definitely you could see in the first round, Joe Joyce was put in his place with the punch and power of Zhang. You got that instantly. Joe Joyce is actually quite a good long-range boxer. His jab is pretty good. But when it came to long-range boxing in this fight, it was non-existent. And to be honest with you, Zili Zhang was the guy who was really bossing this fight at long range. Couldn't miss with the uh, left hand. His right jab seemed pretty good. So the first round went very well for Zili Zhang. But then you need to remember that Joe Joyce is, an opponent, is a fighter, say, who typically comes on strong in the mid to late stages of a fight. Zili Zhang tends to start fast. We've seen that in several fights. Tends to start fast and not be able to carry it down the stretch. Second round comes along. What happens? Joe Joyce once again gets caught with a big left hand from Zilli Zhang. But this time, there's a big reaction. Joe Joyce's legs appear to go. And it looked as though he was going to go down. Zilli Zhang you know, got a little bit messy with his inside work. Joe Joyce ended up coming through the second round, surviving very well survived it very well for someone who's known to have a granite chin and not used to getting hurt he sure he certainly had good enough survival instincts in that second round but then his nose started bleeding looked like it was broken so another bad round at that point the eye starts to swell you kind of get the impression oh there's going to be a bit of a problem third round slightly better round for joe joyce in a sense that he started upping the volume started getting up close to Zilli Zhang, realizing he needs to be up close. But Zilli Zhang, again, seemed comfy, seemed to be okay with the pace, and was landing his shots on Joe Joyce. Again, the left hand landing almost at will. And the punches Joe Joyce were throwing, Zilli Zhang was blocking a lot of them. And the ones that were getting through, they didn't really seem to have that much of an effect on Zilli Zhang. You know, he seemed fine to take them. Whereas Joe Joyce, you got the impression he was trying his best to avoid getting hit with the right hand or the left hand but he just couldn't get out of the way it was just like he was just oblivious to what was coming back at him and that was kind of how it went he did have a better fifth round joe joyce 
But at the end of the fifth round was when the doctor came, had a look at Joe Joyce, and you kind of knew because the, the eye was getting worse and worse and worse. His face looked mashed up by the end of this fight. And you just kind of thought the end is nigh. Unless Joe Joyce can pull something out of the bag, the end is nigh. The end is nigh. And then obviously in the sixth round, he still kept getting tagged with left hands from Zilli Zhang. Referee asked the doctor over it again. This time the referee, the doctor said to Howard Foster, I should say, whispered in his ear. Howard Foster waved it off. No complaints from Joe Joyce as well. I think Joe Joyce knew the right was on the wall. And, you know, some people are going to make the argument that he come in too light because he came in in the 250s very rare you see joe joyce come in that light <sighs> hard to say really i think at the end of the day maybe he was just underprepared you know zilly zhang is a very underrated fighter and i think he's been underestimated by well myself definitely and other fans because he doesn't look he never looks amazing but it's effective. It's a bit like Joe Joyce in a way. Joe Joyce never looks amazing, but it's effective. And it's the same with Zilly Zhang. You know, Zilly Zhang going into the Hergovich fight, I was never that really impressed with him. I knew he could punch. Oh, I knew that. But apart from everything else, there wasn't really anything there. But he done brilliantly against Philip Hergovich. He's just beaten Joe Joyce. The guy is only two weeks away from hitting 40. And, you know, they were talking about Zhang as an opponent for Anthony Joshua you know before he fought well, was announced he was going to fight Jermaine Franklin and based upon what I've seen in there tonight I'm going to go out and say it I think he would have knocked Joshua out if they had fought a couple of weeks ago see this guy is dangerous 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 fighter I mean this guy early in a fight with that left hand this is Joe Joyce who has a very very good chin you take someone like a Joshua a Fury a Dylan White, a Deontay Wilder, people who've been hurt, and you let them get hit with that left hand, they're going down. Probably going to sleep. Duh. The big bang, and he can certainly do that. In terms of what happens here, well, well, this is Zilly Zhang. I mean, this is an Indian summer for him. I mean, he is now the interim WBO heavyweight champion. He's next in line for Alexander Rusek. So will they push? Is he still a matchroom fighter? Zilly Zhang? Or was he? Yeah, no, Eddie Hearn signed him. I think he did anyway. Is he well? Then maybe he's not beat. Maybe he's not a matchroom fighter still. But there's going to be people looking to get his signature. I reckon. Guaranteed crack at Usek. Be pushing for that. Now Alexander Usek, he'd have to be flipping careful because that left hand, even if it lands on Usek, and Selpa Selpa is very. It's a bit strange, but Usek would need to be extremely careful against this guy. This guy is dangerous, dangerous, dangerous fighter. Is Zilly Zhang, especially with that kind of punching power. It just goes to show how much... Because he messed up Joe Joyce's face and he hurt him bad. So, Zilly Zhang's opened up some doors there. There was talk, obviously. Dylan White was ringside. I actually have a thumbnail ready. No point using it now. Um, of Dylan White versus Joe Joyce in the summer. Assuming he gets through this fight. Well, he obviously didn't. Will they try and do Zilly Zhang versus Dylan White in the summer? I mean, if they did... I'd be picking Zilly Zhang every day of the week against Dylan White. I think he'd splatter Dylan White all over the canvas. I really would. I think Dylan White's chin is shaky enough. But you put him in there with someone like Zilly Zhang who can really punch. He's finished. He's done. He's not getting through the first half of that fight. He's he's goosed. Seriously. Zilly Zhang, very underrated fighter. Very underrated. Would I pick him against the top guys at heavyweight? No. But with that power, he's always got an advantage. He's always got an equalizer, I should say. Really didn't expect Joe Joyce to lose this fight. Very good fight. It was a very good scrap, but... I guess with Joe Joyce, brute force and ignorance can only get you so far. And this is a damaging fight. Like, I wonder now what will become of Joe Joyce after this fight. Because that fight was damaging. I wonder if his chin would have taken a few knocks in terms of the punch resistance department. That if he loses punch resistance, he's screwed. Because that's really the one thing that he has on his side. You know, if, he, if that goes, you know, you, you may as well pack it in, you know. So that's my thoughts on this. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. It'd be very interested to know your thoughts. Very good fight. It was a fight that I wasn't expecting an upset in, but I didn't rule it out. And here we are. Heavyweight boxing delivers again. People say heavyweight boxing is... You tell me that fight wasn't good. It was a good fight. Heavyweight boxing is perfectly fine. I have no fear of that. I leave it there, people. Hit the like button if you can. Thanks to the Hip for sponsoring. Hit subscribe. It literally takes... Yeah, you're going to subscribe by now. There you go. Two seconds. Takes two seconds. You can two seconds. Click on that subscribe. Hit the old notification bell. Leave a cheeky old like while you're there. And I'll talk to you. Peace.